What is going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be installing a front and rear impact tank stunt cage on CBR 600 right here, as you can see. All right, along with the wrap, a long time ago, you guys saw me get this box with the bike. In here, we have an impact tech front stunt cage and rear sub cage. As you can see, we got all of our hardware. We got a nice little jet tag. We have our covers, our hardware. Got some stickers, some sandpaper, extra um, sliders. So we are going to go ahead and toss these on. As you can see, white will contrast very nicely with the black and the chrome stars. I also have chrome windshield tint that we're gonna go ahead and toss on. So let's go ahead, get this out of the box, get it all cleaned up and we will toss it on the CVR. As you can see, we already have it installed. We have some new decals that I added. I'm gonna go ahead and start the vlog right now. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the front cage now, but first we're gonna do an oil change. As you guys can see in here, I got some oil and a new filter because this bar right here goes through the undercarriage and it's gonna block the oil filter um, from draining properly. So might as well do it now, it's due for one anyways. Okay, so I have the front sub cage here. It's gonna mount up basically like that, hard to do on hand. But as you guys can see, the stator kind of gets in the way of this um, engine mount bolt. So we're going to have to move this stator somewhere. Um, I see a lot of people that just zip tie it up in here. Um, I'm gonna find a nice place for it, but for right now, I'm working on the oil change. All right, oil change is done. Um, I don't know if you can see in there. There's a little wasp. Um, the wasp basically like landed on my cheek when I was doing the oil change and I freaked out and um, ran away like a, like a little you know what. And then I came back and he was sitting on the floor so I squashed him and then I threw him inside the oil pan. But anyways, back to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the cage stuff. Uh, I gotta go ahead and get that bolt out, but let me move this stator like I was talking about first. I took these bolts out already, they're hand loose. So I gotta take this plate off. I believe that's an eight mil, two eight mils. And then I can probably zip tie the stator like right here. All right guys, so I have this side off now. You see, this is going to go like that. And as you guys can see, reason why I had to do the oil change is because the bar underneath is going to end up about right there and I cannot change the oil filter like that so that's why I did the oil change first so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this motor mount which I already did uh, you have a 12 mil bolt here that kind of clamps the frame together and then you have a 10 millimeter hex bolt which I busted out with this because it's going to be pretty tough. Um, and then you have a nut on the back side over here. Um, there's a spacer in between here. You're going to keep that in there for right now until we have this one out. But I'll get to that next. First thing I'm going to do is I already marked the spot on the fairing where I'm going to have to drill through. I have a two inch hole saw and I'm going to get to drilling. All right, so I drilled my hole. I'm gonna see if this is gonna be good right here. Looks to be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and work on this bolt. I'll tell you guys how to do it in a second. All right, on left side, we have our second hole made. So now we're gonna start. First, we're gonna take out this bolt right here. I believe it's a 17 mil. So let me go ahead and grab a 17 mil, take that out. And then we're gonna come over to this side. We have an eight millimeter Allen. We also have this weird cross um, nut that's kind of like a, I don't know how to explain it, um, but I'm not sure if we're gonna have to take that out yet or not. 
we'll see. Let's go ahead and start on the other side first. Okay, so right now I have it hanging off the cage. Um, I'm gonna actually show you guys real quick. This is the bolt that came out from the back side of the frame. What you wanna do is the bolt, the longer bolt that you get from Impact Tech, you wanna slide it through as this one's coming out. Because I don't know if you guys can see in there, there is a spacer right there and hard to see but on the other side there is a, another spacer as well um so i have this cage hanging this cage hanging um i'm just trying to mock up to see if i'll need to remove that little castle nut back there or if i can just leave it like this um but i'm going to take this front bolt out now and then I will get back to you guys and see how it looks. So now I have this new bolt that came in the hardware pack. This is the one that has the nut on the end. This one is going to go on the right side. It's going to pass through. You have this spacer. And then you also have to use that spacer, I believe, right there. I will take this bolt and we'll find okay, out. Okay, so now we're going to put this spacer that came in the pack in that hole. Then we're going to use this spacer in between there and there and then we have this new bolt with a new crush washer and nut so this is gonna go here I can't do it with one hand but I'm gonna go ahead and put that bolt through that hole right so right now we put the fairings back on I have the hole Oop, don't want to do that because I have the bolt in there still I'm gonna put this through the hole start threading it in through the engine mount do the same thing on the other side and then we can tighten out this back piece. All right, so I got both sides on. Again, this side is a 17 mil with a spacer and it has a washer and nut. The other nut side is 17 as well. So you can put a 17 here and a 17 wrench and then impact that on. Back here, you have a nut crush washer and a washer, flat washer, 14 mil. 14 mil on this side. This side won't really have to get tightened that much. This side you have a threaded 19 millimeter with a crush washer and a spacer on the inside. And last but not least, we have the underbar, which passes through the exhaust. Um, I'm gonna set that one up. I believe this is a 14 mil. Let's see. Probably a 13. But uh, this one just goes on that bottom hole right there passes through and then we put on the undercarriage all right underbar is in uh it was actually 14 mil on both sides crank those down with the impact now we'll just put on the undercarriage and the bike will be done we'll just put on those um little plastic pucks and that's it okay guys so the bike is finished put everything back together i put the pucks on I relocated the stator right in there. Um, nothing's moving. Stator plug moved to the other side. Same thing on this side. Everything's put together. Pucks on. Everything's tightened down. We have the under brace. I did have to drill more holes for the under brace to go through on both sides. That's it. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna be replacing this fuel cap with this billet one right here. Um, don't mind all the uh, paint issues. I'm actually gonna take off this fairing cover and repaint it and put new decals because some fuel leaked onto this while the uh, paint was still curing and it kind of messed it up. But this will get resanded down and finished over again but just remove all these five millimeter bolts and then this should pop right up. And the reason why I'm changing this out, as you guys can see, is one of my keys snapped inside of there. Uh, it was all corroded, so I uh, decided to just put a flat head in there and hammer it down, twist it to unlock it, got that off. And now we have that beautiful cap that will blend right in.
and that's what it's gonna look like unfortunately the bolts that they gave me were the wrong thread pitch so i'm gonna go to the store and grab those but you just push this down twist and you have access to your gas and then boom no key needed no worry about more snap keys unfortunately i'm gonna have to go and see if they can make a duplicate if not i mean i have a spare but we'll see all right we're also going to be getting rid of these 600 rr stickers as you can see here i got some chrome and gold i also have more stars that i'm going to put on uh, i have some more chrome and i have some gold as well kind of to match up with the uh gold on the bike but i'm also going to be adding some more chrome try to make this bike all look one one final revision.